Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with a new video. So in today's video, I just want to talk about two specific leaders that I feel end game will be very very useful for you to start using. Um, and one of them is actually practically really hard to use currently, but in the future, they will be very well be useful because uh, more characters will be added. So therefore, you can utilize this leader. Uh, more efficiently um, before I get right into that guys, don't forget to like the video subscribe I make content on illusion connect here Kantari and um, yeah let's reach 2k and um, yeah let's help our community grow further now um, so the two leaders I'm, I'm talking about are sorry why did I press that side the two leaders I'm talking about are the soul reaper and the light paladin now the light paladin is the leader that I feel like is easier to use right now than to use the soul reaper because the unit that he needs are sorcerer type units and right now we don't have that many ssr or good sorcerer type units so you can't really utilize him to the maximum um, currently but for him as long as you have many ssrs you are able to use him and practically is one of the best um, leaders to currently use now i know most people are probably running him now he isn't going to be efficient for end game because he primarily is primarily used for um dealing damage and it's only used for like free to play teams and whatnot but as you go further into the game you get more ssls and it's more more beneficial for you run him as your leader the main reason is you can unlock his passive easier well if you have all ssls so right now i have all of the ssls and practically unlocked most of his skills as you can see right now so it's actually easier to use him the one skill I don't have right now is because I need uh, six partners with energy below 13, which I'm not going to do because, well, if I use partners below energy 13, yeah, I'm not going to be dealing that much damage right now. So, yeah, so it's fine to have him right now and using him like this. Um, if you have most of the SSRs in the game, you should have all his passive like this unlocked and it's much easier to run. Um, his main skills that you actually use in the game is uh, the damage dealing AoE skill. If you go to skills, uh, so yeah, you're going to be using the skill the most. I don't really use any of the other skills, but if I press auto, the auto like using this um, damage reduction by 80%, it's very, very good, but I never use it because I don't feel like I need it. I always use this skill rather than any of the other skills. Um, to be honest, I don't even use this one um so yeah whenever i get um the chance to use any of the skills i always use this for aoe damage dealing the damage they de deals is quite high and um you also reduce targets and um, attack by 20 percent so it's very very useful um let me show you some few gameplay using him as a leader so you can get a better feel of how good he is now i'm gonna go to this stage i'm running this team so yeah let's go um so yeah he's one of the um, easiest t leader to use currently so yeah okay let's see so i'm gonna put her there just to buy some time um it's also it's much easier to beat some um, stages where there's only one boss so yeah this is gonna be easy um um i do want to show you using his skills so i'm gonna do some tanking stuff Uh, I'm going to wait for his um, rage to build up. Well, I feel like I'm going to win this before any of that does happen. Yeah, it looks like I've won before I showed you his skills. But, um... Let's go further. It, well, it's practically a showcase of him as well because he does unlock passives, like increasing attacks and whatnot. So, yeah. But currently, none of the story stage are hard, so I'm going to go and... I'm gonna go into a stage that I feel like I can showcase him better. Let's go to Dream Expedition. Now I do know for a fact I won't be able to beat this, but I do want to show you his damage that he can deal with his first chain and whatnot. Or maybe I will be able to beat this, I'm not too sure. Um let's go. Okay, so I got this. Yikes. What I actually want to do is put some healers. The damage dealt is quite high hmm cool 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 now i always use this let's look at the amount of damage he can deal with that 
should be able to delete them as you can see delete them quickly um yeah the stage come on she just revived wait wait okay selena come on okay that was the end but i just wanted to showcase his damage um that he dealt using his first chain um maybe in that stage i should have used his second to get that damage redu reduction but um yeah so that was a showcase of the easiest leader to use as you progress further doesn't really need like a specific team to run around him just use high energy cost teams and he's very good for that now this leader over here is very very good i think for end game he might be the best i don't really know how good this leader is because we are not able to get him currently so yeah let's, let's look at him um the, the reason why you can't really use him now you can actually but i wouldn't recommend you building that team right now because you're going to have to build sr units that are not going to be useful in the end um let's look at his um leader skills so the reason why you can't use him right now is because he is a sorcerer leader so you're going to need a sorcerer team to run him with perfectly and right now the sorcerer teams that we do have or the units that we have are not that much um but as we progress further, I have seen that two new sorcerers will be added in the game. So that you can start utilizing um, a better team around him as more time progresses in the game. Because um, new teams, new units will be added which are going to be sorcerer types. And it will be easier for you to um, get his passives unlocked. As you can see, sorcerer types and you're going to require uh free spells on light partners sorcerer partners yeah but he's really good because if you if you look here the main reason why you want him is for this well one of the main reason uh deploy at least five sorcerer par uh, partners um increases allied partners aoe damage by 25 percent so very very good you're going to require five sorcerer teams five sorcerer partner and then you're going to add Miyuki and another units, other units that you think is going to be beneficial to run. Uh, making sure you have like uh, free light units and stuff like that. But right now, you can't you really, the five sorcerer units. Can I really show you factions, right? Is that how you know? It's class. Yes, okay, class. So right now, out of the SSR's um, class, Hachishiki, Yufi. Looks like the only two SSR. Oh, yeah, SSR's um, are Finnebirth, um Are the only. Oh, and Rocknia are the only um, SSR sorcerer class, but she's actually very good. So if you are going to build a sorcerer team right now, I'll do, I will look at her. Um, you can build Finnebirth, but she's only situational, in my opinion. So I'll just counter in it. So that's two, um, three, and then four. So only four good SSRs, um, sorcerer class. And if you want to add um, SSR sorcerer class units, um, Chio would be good, Mary would be good, but as you can see, our units, SR units. Um, the main reason you actually want Chio, I believe, is for passives anyway yeah the passive over there increases um, damage yeah but i'm guessing you guys want to add ssr units that deal massive amount of damage and whatnot end game so that's why i wouldn't recommend running the sorcerer teams right now you can um but i would always recommend you running the easiest team right now is probably using the light paladin but as, as time progresses you will actually want to use him and another main reason for that is his skills now he has a he has the he has the skill that makes him go um have immunity to damage which is very very good and restores um 10 percent of max hp per round this skill is literally makes him op because i used him um in um arcana stage and i was actually using immunity i used it and then the next stage i, I mean i used it and it, whilst it ended I was able to use the immunity again so i was literally taking no damage for like two two rounds so it was very very good um that's why i feel, feel for end game you're going to require him and um he's a very very good end game unit now when we get more when we get to look take a look at him i'll see if it's a, if he is also a good unit so stay tuned for that video but right now those are the two best 
um, leaders, I would say, end game currently. Um, he is good for damage dealing, but at the end, as you progress further, you want to be able to make sure that your team survives. So yeah, um, right now I'll stick with Light Paladin, and then when more Sorcerer class units come, you will need the Soul Reaper uh, leader. Anyway, that is literally the video, guys. Um, so if you're not building a team around your Light Paladin right now, I will recommend you to start doing that. It's pretty easy as long as you have most of the SSLs in the game, 80%. So yeah, it's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and make content on Illusion, Connect Hero Kantari. Help me get to 2K. And um, yeah, it's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.